In this video, we will show you how to control relative humidity with the Agro 1400 controller. Now, in order for you to get a humidity reading on this controller, you would need a temp humidity sensor pre-installed and mapped. And with that done, as you can see, you have a relative humidity reading of 54%. Note also, to control humidity, you would have to go into your set point time period and you would have to establish relative humidity set points. And as you can see in this screen, we have relative humidity between 40% and 60%. Now, if the humidity is below the 40% value, you enter the humidification stage. If humidity is above the 60% value, you enter the dehumidification stage. You can program equipment to establish this control. Let's go ahead and hit back and scroll down to dehumidify, humidify. The Dehumidify Humidify option lets you program equipment you want to use in each of the four humidity override states. DH1 is engaged when the zone's humidity reading is immediately above the high humidity set point, which is 60. Now in this example, Fan 1 will go on and Vent 1 will go open to 15%. Now DH2 is engaged when the zone's humidity reading is above the set point by 5%. DHLT is the dehum state that is engaged when the outside temperature is below a user set value. And H or humidity stage is engaged when the zone's humidity is below the low humidity set point. To get an understanding of this screen, you have DH1, DH2, DHLT, and H across the top, and you have your equipment on the left side. Now, the top vent, a proportional device, the values that are in the screen are indicated as vent percentages. And as you can see, it says 15, and these percentages can be changed in order to accommodate the values you need. If you were to go ahead and hit next, you have an exhaust fan, which is an on-off device, as well as a heater. Now, the exhaust fan, the one signifies on, zero signifies off, and the blank or the dash signifies that this device is not being used in this particular state. But we're going to go ahead and change it to one. And next, we're going to go ahead and continue to hit enter. Your heat will come on during dehumidification low temperature. Your misting will come on during humidification. In this screen, we have cycling dehumidification. When in a dehumidify override state, you have an option of cycling the dehumidification state. In the example, a max on for 5 minutes and a min off for 10 minutes is programmed. This means that the humidity is above the target, the dehumidify state will cycle on for 5 minutes and then off for 10. If during the on time the humidity drops below the target, the dehumidification state will end and the equipment will return to its normal temperature control. Heat boost is another means of reducing the humidity. And with heat boost, you must have an outdoor temp sensor in order for, to utilize this feature. You can automatically increase the set point by the amount entered. The adjustment is subject to the on-off cycling. If you want to turn off the dehum cycling, then just set the min to zero. Now DHLT this value is the value that you would set when the outside temperature is less than 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The exhaust fan will be turned off. The vent will go to a minimum of 15% and the heater will help in the dehumidification process. Now, if we were to go ahead and hit back to get to the home screen, we will show you what it looks like when the controller is in its dehumidification humidification states 
And we'll do this by manipulating the relative humidity reading. And as you can see, right now we are in the regular normal relative humidity state because the 54% is between the 40 and 60% set points. Now from this view, as you can see, we changed and calibrated the relative humidity reading to be 61%, which forced the controller into DH1. And from this view, we changed the relative humidity sensor reading to be 66%, 5% above the set point, which forced the controller into DH2. And from this view, we changed the sensor to be at 33% humidity, which forced the controller in the humidification state. And finally, in this view, as you can see, the out temp is 39.4. The threshold for DHLT to come into effect is 40 degrees, and the relative humidity is above the high humidity set point which makes this controller go into DHLT. Now that you have a basic understanding of how dehumidification and humidification works, we encourage you to use these options to cycle and to control your humidity levels within your greenhouse that best suits your needs. And that's our video on programming dehumidification humidification with your equipment.